Welcome to New York City Drivers Suck, Episode 2. I'm your host, Maximum Tenacity. Let's get right into it. So I find myself entering the Grand Central Parkway, westbound, in Flushing, Queens, New York City. Ahead of me is a black TLC car who runs the stop sign, but what he does next is the interesting part. He continues rolling forward while I make a proper stop at the stop sign, and he just sits there. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, what exactly is going on here? The defensive driver in me is already thinking of a workaround just in case this guy is gonna remain there. Mind you, there are a bunch of cars behind me piling up on this little exit ramp. At this point I'm signaling left, looking for an opportunity to get in, and I go for it. And just as I'm doing that, he decides to wake up and jump in front of me. Talk about a dick move that could have resulted in a car accident. But that's what you can expect on the roads of New York City. This exit ramp, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult ones in New York City. Here it is, as seen from above during some of the more quiet hours of the day, and even then it can be quite busy. Anyway, I'll just show you that part again in slow motion and then it's on to the next clip. And he does that without signaling. That's probably the worst part about it, you know? Zero fucks given about communicating his intentions to the drivers around him. In this next clip, pay attention to the white SUV right there. Let's listen in on the original audio from the dash cam. So what just happened there? Let's break it down in slow motion and find out. The white SUV wanted the exit ramp to get off the highway. She tries two consecutive attempts to change lanes in front of the black SUV, who is spooked a bit but does not yield, when instead she could have slowed down and got behind him where there was a lot more room to merge in. So she drops speed to like 20 miles per hour on the middle lane of the highway, causing myself and the cars behind me to slam on our brakes. Remember, suddenly slowing down and impeding traffic on the highway is unlawful. Sometimes it's a better choice to just miss your exit and not jeopardize anyone's safety. Now let's watch a segment I call The Fast and the Furious. Everybody get your hands up. This next clip is gonna be about a guy who changes his mind. It's this red minivan signaling to get in. And then he gets right out. Everybody get your Reflexes. You can never be too alert on the road. Watch the two cars in front of me. Let's take another look at what happened there and find out why. The black SUV cuts his turn too short. The guy in front of me feared he might get clipped by him, so he slammed on his brakes. So always watch out for things like that when there are two turning lanes on an intersection. Now we're gonna look at something a little different. A freak accident, I suppose. So what happened was, a mattress fell off some car on the highway and got jammed in the front wheel well of this car right here. The driver was okay, but lost in thought. 
That's about all for this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, watch out for the autistic kids, and the occasional old folks scooter riding across the street. 